comes ready to ask our designers questions. Why not, right? So Susan, I know you have a question for Shai. What would you like to ask him? Hi, Shai. Thank you for taking my question. I would like to move the treadmill down to the basement, and I'm having problems with the furniture because of all the angles in the walls. Right. So, you know, S Susan was great because she sent her a question in advance, and there was the funniest part of her question was she wanted to move her treadmill down to the basement because she liked to watch TV, of course, City Line, yeah. and it woke her husband up all the time because he used to like oh, to sleep. So, oh, right. you know, Susan, if your husband's sleeping during City Line, that's the first problem. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna change that out first because you know he can sleep during any other time during the day not during city line so number one <laughs> number two yes um, Susan does have a lot of angles she has almost uh, like a bay window um, in the basement which a lot of homes have whether it be for HVAC or whether it be for pipes or whatnot there's usually a structural reason for it um, mm -hmm. so what we've decided to do is work with the architectural elements. So instead of trying to pull away or trying to figure out how to make them almost not there, we're gonna work with it. Mm -hmm. And the first architectural element, oh, the first architectural element was this little niche that she had over here. And what I thought we could do is use that for sort of a custom built almost sofa table and not dissimilar from the sectional that we were actually sitting on. I'd like to do a sectional with a chaise. So it's open, it's a lot airier, something with the low back so that we're not going to impede on the uh, sofa table that I've actually put behind it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use this little niche as uh, an architectural, almost millwork detail. So I'm recommending that we get some millwork built in here and around and do, if you know budget uh, permits, a gas fireplace. If budget doesn't permit, an ethanol fireplace, which is fantastic, by the way. Ethanol fireplaces are great nowadays. Mm -hmm. And really close this uh, or kind of define this area off with the little um, lounger and side table that we've done there. Now, because it was all about the treadmill, we put the treadmill off. You do have this space here that is already defined for you. So we put, why am I doing that? No, I'm I'm I've had too much holder. coffee this morning. <laughs> too much uh, to drink. <laughs> I don't know if it was coffee. Well, <laughs> what's in this mug saying. again? I don't know. Um, okay, thank you. So the treadmill we put off here to the side. And if you notice, I put the TV in front of the treadmill here, but yeah. the TV really isn't the focal point anymore. So it's on an arm. We're going to be able to swivel it. We'll be able to watch it in the kind of lounging living area, Smart. but it's really meant for the treadmill. So I think that that's really going to define the space for you. And that's really going to solve all the questions that you have in terms of the angles that you have in your space. So much easier to get through a workout when we can hang out together, huh? Right? <laughs> Absolutely. <It's fun. laughs> yeah, we have a nice little date together.